Hey guys, Cactus here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to be showing you all 11 of the Ren Brightblade games for week 2. For copyright artists, you have to wait for the special metaverse themed round. You will be asked to copy 3 of the 6 displayed drawings. Then you will have to watch as various drawings pop up on the screen. Click only the original ones as fast as you can to get points. The player with the most points at the end, will win the chest. For death run, you simply have to reach the end of any death run map. You do not have to be first across the line, to get this chest. For fart attack, there are 5 challenges you have to complete. The first is to play 3 rounds. This will naturally come to you when you get the others, so forget about this one. The second is to fart 50 times. Which you do, by running around and picking up items, and then press the fart button. The third and fourth challenges, are to use 50 cabbages, and burritos. You do this by running around and collecting them. Then press the C or B button to use them. The final challenge is to use the fart nado 25 times. Make sure you have this special power assigned from the menu. Then build up your special power bar by collecting items. On my screen it is the green symbol and is activated by pressing the number 3 button. Once you have completed all 5 challenges, and claimed them, you will get the chest. For Giant Simulator, you have to complete 3 tasks. You will first have to level up by swiping your weapon and collecting eggs, and equipping pets. This is best done in the castle. You can open up chests you get to upgrade your weapons and skins. Once you feel you are powerful enough, you go into each of these three portals. In the blue one you have to kill 10 of these gnomes. In the pink and orange portals you face off with a boss. They are pretty tough, so you are best to ask others on the server to help out, as you all get the task if you help each other. In Goblin Island, you go through this portal, talk to Ren. Then return here to kill 10 goblins and return to Ren. He will teleport you to a 2D platformer where you have to collect 5 green orbs. The perspective on this one can be a bit tricky. Once you make it through, you will be awarded the chest. For Legends of Speed, you have to run around collecting orbs to level up. Then, once you have reached level 25, you go through Ren's green portal and complete a short obby. You will then be awarded the chest. For natural disaster survival, you simply have to survive 3 rounds in a row without dying. If you don't know how to survive, then copy where the other players are going. Once you complete the third disaster, you will get the chest. 
For pet heroes, you have to level up by attacking enemies, collecting points to then buy pets. Keep going until you can get 2500 gems to enter flying islands. Then keep fighting enemies until you get 1500 eggs. Repair the bridge, go up the obby, and then run around activating the three statues. Then return to get the chest. For Ragdoll Simulator, you have to simply use the combat tool in your inventory to push a total of 10 people. You can push the same person more than once to get the chest. For seconds till death, you need to win one round of the game. Shoot your opponents and pick up the additional time that they drop. If you are quick, and get enough time bonuses, then you don't need to kill everyone in the game. You just have to then stay alive until the end of the match, and win the chest. For a wolf or other, you have to complete 5 of the game's achievements and win the game badges. There are a lot you can go for, but some of the easiest ones are. To survive the night. To jump onto the top of a chimney on the manor house. To roar as the wolf and to stand in the campfire on the winter village map. Whichever 5 you get, you will win the chest. Thanks for watching my video, and please remember to like and subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Until next time, this is Cactus signing off.